Hi, I'm Owen Altman. I work for Northern Crops Institute. I'm a processing technician on staff. I do a lot of different uh, projects. One of them is working with our Armfield solvent extracting unit over here, most commonly using soybeans as a product. I can do along with hexane in this unit. We also use alcohol in, in some cases. But in this case with soybeans, as a rule, it's, it's uh, hexane. This unit has a extractor that's over here. This is the main unit where the baskets and the bags and things go inside of. The baskets that I normally use in there, I usually use three of them. They look like in this fashion. I've got a little bag on there. I normally fill these with whole flakes, uh, yellow uh, made flakes, or in some cases when I'm doing small samples, I may put as many as 10 or 12 little bags like this. But I have three of these baskets that go in there. They fill chamber about this deep with those baskets. Or I've also used this unit where I'll put flakes in approximately that deep and then and then uh, solvent is sprayed in there. Again, this was the extractor. Below it is the mucilla tank, which is a mixture of, of the solvent and oil that's been extracted, usually is what's collected down there afterwards. We have a condenser up here, which uses cold water to cool any vapors that are coming uh, this way. And then it drops back into the solvent separator tank. This is pre-charged with a water that helps the separation so that the hexane will come over to the work side. You charge it up, of course, first with water, then you fill it with hexane. You can adjust the water up for this uh, condenser on this valve here. You want to have a good flow of water that makes this ice coal running on there so it condenses those vapors. The next step in the process would be once your, your flakes are inside of here and, and it's closed up, we will turn on the pump and adjust this accordingly about halfway. There's a spray ring that goes in the top of this extractor. Solvent is sprayed through nozzles down over the flakes inside of here. And there's also another ring like that in the bottom that during the extraction process, we turn on nitrogen for just a little bit of agitation to help speed up the ex oil extraction from the, from the yellow flakes. Anyway, usually we, we take and pump our solvent in there till we get up about half on the glass. So it's at least an inch over top of the baskets. Normally with hexane, I run about in the range of 56, 57 degrees in the chamber while we're cooking. I normally cook from 30 to 40 minutes. And then at that point, I will drain that oil solvent mixture down into the bottom tank, bleed it off into storage. And that usually contains a lot of the oil on the first wash. Then I refill it again, cook it for another 30 to 40 minutes, and then dump that, that solvent down also. And then after, I'll use vacuum and heat to dry the solvent out of the flake or desolvitize the flakes. That's drying off with a vacuum pump, and it's also drying the vapors this way and, and re, you know, recondensing them on, on, in the chamber over there. When I'm done, when I get all the solvent that I can get out here, open the chamber, take the flake baskets out, and I'll take them down to this dryer, place them on trays, put them inside of here. This unit, we turn on uh, vacuum to different levels. Also, we have a control that we can set the temperature anywhere up to about 46 degrees Celsius for the drying process. Normally, uh, if I'm doing two batches, the first batch will get about a five hour dry time and the second will get the overnight um, time. But uh, they usually come out pretty uh, low on hexanes. And then after, after that process, I will draw the, the mucilla or the oil solvent back into this chamber and basically warm it up uh, again to that 57 and just, or maybe a little hotter and boil the hexane off, it goes through the recycling process and I do that with all the uh, hexane. This chamber takes about two five gallon cans of hexane during each wash time, but I will recycle almost all of that. I lose very little um, through the recycling process and back off. Um, and the, at the end of that process, I'll be left with almost uh, just purely oil with just maybe very little hexane in it. 
And then from there, that would go to your bleaching and deodorizing and different refining processes after that. The oil then I would drain off out of here through the mucilla tank and out the bottom. That's basically a fairly quick overview of this machine.